to a couple of your teammates about this team that has replaced some key leaders that just graduated, but there's an expectation that y'all aren't rebuilding, you're reloading because of young guys like you, they expect to jump into the big roles right away. What is this offseason like in terms of a lot of 2027 guys, even a couple of 2028 guys finding their role and making sure that y'all are ready to take that next step? Well, it's a lot of hard work. Um, I have a lot on my shoulders. Everybody have a lot on their shoulders because we're a young team. So we have to... For you, what's, I mean, what's been the biggest difference from you a year ago um, to, to getting in there and, and getting some experience this past fall and, and also learning from you know another year working with those those older guys? What are we seeing from you right now that maybe we wouldn't have seen? Or you know, how are you feeling in terms of confidence level that maybe you wouldn't have had this time last year or whatever the biggest difference may be for you? Well, the biggest difference is I'm getting a lot of more, like, like dual from receiver and running back I'm getting a lot more last year you know I played running back mostly running back I didn't do too much receiver but a little bit I was really like a role player but now I'm like a, more of a key player right now and my confidence is pretty high I'm pretty high in myself uh, I think we I think we, we're gonna be straight we're gonna be straight I think we're gonna be straight yeah the expect everyone I asked to say the expectations are to just get right back to the dome, go win a state championship. What is that like to hear as a young guy to know that those are the expectations for the team and you're going to be someone that's expected to play a big role in that? How do you kind of approach that and, and know, okay, it's, it's time for me to, to be a guy right now? Well, that's that's great. That's great that everybody thinks that. I think I think that too. I think that we have a lot of like skill, skill-wise. We didn't really lose much of nothing. To be honest, we could do it again. We could do it again. What is this offseason like? You know, days like today in terms of y'all just continuing to build chemistry, timing, rhythm, all those things as an offense that um, has to replace guys like Braden and Kobe in particular. How much do y'all gain from these offseason opportunities? Well, we lost a lot, so we have to work harder. We have to carry more weight on our shoulders. We have to pick up the pace more because we lost a lot. So it's a little more faster, so it's, it's fast for us. It's, it's hard, but we put in the work. How's the, the guy behind me with the long hair? And so they doing great. They uh they off annoying, kind of inconsistent, but they working there because they 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 young, but they looking great. And Jakaya said the defense should be really stout and give you all opportunities where y'all just kind of have to hold up y'all's end. What, when you guys are practicing, how good are they looking? Um, what's kind of the uh, you know the outlook for for them? And if you get a chance to play a little bit on that side too, potentially. With well, we. We both give each other a hard time, I'm not going to lie. The defense is pretty good. We didn't lose. We really didn't lose much on defense. You know, we have Gary White. We have Joe, Jarrell. So um, we didn't really lose much, but a couple of linemen. So it's the same defense. And for me, playing on this, uh, playing on um, defense, uh, like in certain situations or down the line, I might have to play defense. So, yeah. How much do those older guys you make, like Gary and like Joe, how much are they enjoying kind of putting y'all through the ringer a little bit as young guys and making sure that y'all are earning everything you get? They enjoy it pretty much. They give us a hard time. I'm talking about a hard time at practice. We put in the work.